in the previous lectures we have seen the rules uh, general structure of rules and rules formation uh, and uh, rules header and rules body what are the parameters that we will use in the rules body that we have seen in the last lectures in this lecture we will see the inspection of the packets how the packet structures will be arranged in the network traffic that is detected by the snort idps so here uh, the ip header is there the ip header is consisting of uh, the version header length uh, type of service total length identification these are the various fields available in the ip header we have seen the ip header tcp header how it look like in the previous lectures when the ip header comes so how this uh, pattern will be recognized so the time of the receiving of the packet and uh, the first one is the source mac that is from the from which system that packet has received that systems related mac address that is the physical address and destination mac address to whom or uh, to which address uh, to which system that packet has been received that corresponding idem access control code will be presented here then direction and type okay what type of pa uh, packet it is okay and the length okay, type length of the, length of the packet so type here it is a, it is a 51 kind of type number was given and the length of the uh, packet so the length of the packet in the hexadecimal form will be placed here uh, type is 0x800 and length is 0x169 so in the hexadecimal form they have given so which means that uh, it is of uh, every every type of packet will be having its corresponding either it is tcp type or it is udp type or it is ip type icmp type and uh, the followed by the frame again the frame next uh, is followed by the uh, ip header then tcp header data uh, this is at the this is at the data link layer and ip at the network layer and tcp is at the transport layer and data is at the application layer so this is the way the uh, packets will arrive and uh, next uh, next another ethernet frame will come again that will consisting of same source address source mac destination mac type length and ip header tcp header data like that keep on the uh, packets will come into the uh, thing so this is the way uh, here was mentioned here Uh, like a source mac destination mac and type length length of the uh, frame it will be mentioned here so this uh, diagrams was taken from professor bill bochan uh, website that is securitysite.com so you may also refer to that website and it having it is having plenty of resources uh, related to the security the one who are interested in knowing uh, the network security may go through that website anyhow there are so many other resources along with this but uh, i have taken from uh, professor bills uh, website the header length so the header length was mentioned here and uh, time to leave time to leave in the header uh, ip header is play, is presented here and the source ip once the frame is over then the packet related ip header related information will start the ip header related information is from the source ip address from where it came and port number from which port number it has come destination port destination port address and type is tcp time to leave is here 128 so 128 in the sense what you can think of uh, uh, it is uh, it is may, it may be from the windows operating system the ip header length is 20 here uh, so this is the way it will be mentioned and the protocol numbers uh, one means icmp 6 means tcp 8 means egp 41 41 means ipv6 over ipv4 46 means rsvp 50 means esp uh, 51 means authentication header that is in the I, um, ipv6 so this kind of uh, uh, protocol information you can find in the traces now while coming to the uh, tcp part so when you know that it is a tcp packet obviously you come to know here it is a of type tcp so the tcp source port will be here which is indicated in bold 
and TCP destination code will be indicated here. In TCP, we mainly require the flags. The flags will be like a synchronous flag, finished flag, okay, and uh, acknowledgement flag. This kind of uh, URG flag, PSH flag. These are the various flags that are very important. In this. So that flag information you can find here. Flag which is reserved, flag and reserved uh, information you can find in this after that. And in this again, you will be having uh, the TCP length, uh, window size, and acknowledgement number if it is an acknowledgement type. So sequence. So this uh, sequence will be having. And if you want to observe the sequence, and if you want to observe the ACK number, then for that uh, you need to write a related code, uh, related rule in your uh, snort uh, for uh, observing this uh, thing. We will see uh, what are the other parameters that we can use in the snort rules so that we can identify that. So I hope by this time you come to know the the snort rules or uh, sorry snort uh, uh, sensing of the uh, frame and how this uh, frame can be categorized. Uh, that is always uh, you know that uh, whenever data is coming from the top layer to the bottom, every layer consisting will attach its own headers. So like that a data will be attached with the TCP header, TCP header, this entire pack will be attached with the IP header, this entire pack will be attached with the uh, data, data link layer headers. Then that uh, data link layer head, uh, uh, information is said to be frame and that will be converted into the bits and that will be flown onto the uh, wired or wireless medium. Again, at the receiving end, that flows, um, the bits will be combined and becomes a frame. Then frame, uh, the whenever the first layer, data link layer was passed, this frame will be removed. Then IP header, uh, whenever it reaches the network layer, IP header will be removed. Then whenever it goes to the transport layer, TCP header will be removed. Then the original actual data, it may be in the encrypted form. The, this data may be going to the application layer. At the application layer, the decryption will take place. If it is not in the encryption form, as it is, the data will be received at the end. So this is the way it will happen. So as it is uh, how the frame structure and it will be there, the same way the sensing will also be done. And we have seen how to sense the data, uh, data frames, uh, that is uh, hyphen D is used for usually along with this not, uh, and uh, how, to, uh, how to go for uh, what you call um, the ARP related uh, information to capture and how to capture the data link layer uh, related information in this not uh, in the previous lectures. Now we'll see uh, some other uh, fields that will uh, that we have discussed but uh, not have seen in deep. The thing is here we have seen the MSG flow that is to the server and established this kind of information we have seen. Uh, this field we have seen, content also we have seen, content may be a get type, a HTTP type or user type, so what kind of thing it is. Uh, so here it is a user type content. So here the content means the content what you are going to look for, whether it is in case of HTTP transmission, it is a get message or get type or post type or FTP type, this kind of thing, the content type that we are going to look at here. Here it is a USR type. So this USR type is available in the MSN chat. This MSN chat uses uh, the 1863 port uh, for communication. So there is a there may be a flags like uh, USR and TWN, like how we are, we are having the get and post in the uh, in the HTTP communication. So the in the USR content, uh, uh, the depth four depth four in the sense uh, the four bytes. Uh, Within the four bytes, uh, you are going to, uh, the rule is going to be checked within the content of USR. And uh, uh, fr uh, from USR content, uh, how much distance you are supposed to look for? That is one distance. You are supposed to look for, for the content TWN that will be displayed here. So for example, if you look at the uh, traces here, uh, you know the trace can be analyzed via the Wireshark. So when the traces are there, here look at uh, the, uh, the source is uh, the local host and destination some public IP. The protocol communication is going on, MSN, MS uh, communication is going on. Here if you look at uh, USR uh, 2 and uh, TWN 1. 
Okay, so here test at the rate hotmail.com. Some information was given here. So this USR is the uh, is the fla uh, is the code or content con content type that we are looking for, and TWN is the content that is looking for, and uh, depth is four. That means around four bytes uh, we are going to check here, and uh, distance is one. So from the uh, from the TWN uh, one TWN the distance one we are going to check for because these are the next values that are important regarding the quotes that when you are going for communication. So this is the way you are going to write in this. So this kind of things we have, uh, we are supposed to remember uh, while writing the uh, rules. Next uh, class type, we have seen previously Trojan activity in the malware traffic uh, rule formation in the last lecture. Here class type, uh, we have so many class types here. So here policy violation is the one class type must mention. So like that we have attempted admin, attempted user, policy violation, shell code detect, successful admin, successful user, Trojan activity, unsuccessful user, web application attack, attempted Dunlop service, attempted reconnaissance, bad unknown, like that are so many predefined class types are available. ICMP event, mis, uh, miscellaneous activity, like that. So network scan has happened. So these are the various uh, uh, class types available. Okay, how to remember these class types? It is very difficult to remember class types. But however, we can we can remember few things uh, related to the applications. For example, you want to go for Trojan activity. So here Trojan activity will be checked, just like how we have written in the previous cases. And if you are working with the FTP, then the login attempted, that is attempted admin or attempted user, Okay. Then uh, uh, somebody you, you have observed that some NMAP scan is happening. Then uh, network scan activity. So like that, uh, depending upon the application, uh, depending upon the type of scan or depending upon the type of attack that you have observed via traces, you are supposed to use the related class type. You can find those class types uh, in the not user manual. The snort user manual you can find here. You can download from the internet. So this is not user's manual. In the snort user's manual, you can uh, get this information. There are so many preprocessors are available here. So here general rule options. Under the general rule options, you will find MSG option, reference option, GAD option, uh, revision class type here. Class type option is there. Class type. So a beautiful example was given here. Simple alert TCP any any to 25. What is 25 means? So 25 service is used for the SMTP for mail transfer. Here attempted reconnaissance means they are going to get information about the SMTP server. So here are the some class types and having some priorities, default priorities. So attempted admin, attempted user incorporate uh, inappropriate content, policy violation, like that, some default uh, uh, types are available here. So in the user manual, whatever the things are there, the same things we have seen uh, in our uh, slide also. Uh, 